everyone, and also welcome to you know the debut of my video game reviews, you know, video game reviews um show. Um, well, there's not really much of a difference, you know, same plain background that I have, and the same baby pictures in the back that you see of me. And you know, I, I do need a dude. I don't know. I was gonna think of doing something as like you know that the gaming reviews when they actually have the actual video and they talk over. It. But this is the first one I'm gonna do. Start doing that for you know the upcoming ones because I'm gonna be kind of lazy to do all that, and then you know there's gonna be a lot of work to you know put all that stuff together. Or I might do it for this video. I'm not sure yet. It just depends on how much you know if I get any time because I'm I'm mostly busy with school and stuff like that. But um, yeah. So the top I mean, well, the video games that I wanted to review. First of all, this is about um horror video games. Um, there's three. Well, there's not really much horror games. You know, in this well, this new generation right now, because a lot of people don't really make any horror games anymore. Like how it was in the back back then, the, in the days when you know the PS One, where I had um, Resident Evil, which I'm a, a very big fan of, and also Silent Hill, which is very, very, very scary back then. Um, even on the PS Two when they first came out with um, Silent Hill Two, then of course you had Three, then you had Silent Hill for the Room, which I still haven't beat. I haven't beaten yet. Silent Hill 3 I have um, beaten and part 2 and 1 I have beaten but Silent Hill 4 I have not beaten. Sometimes I get kind of you know you know the, the puzzles really you know confuse me a lot and you know the monsters and everything else the whole environment actually scares me and sometimes I don't really want to play the game. Um, but now you know I can actually you know easily beat the video games because you know now I have the internet I have all that stuff you know available to be able to look up anything. You know back then I was the old days on it. It was really hard to have internet and then you know you had a dial connection and you know all that stuff before dsl um but yeah so the three games that um well the two horror games because resident evil 5 doesn't even count as a horror i want to review in it because even though it's not like it's an action game now because how they destroyed it you know the traditional of it i mean the whole tradition of um, resident evil i'm still going to talk about it because i do love resident evil and well is some sort of well somewhat horror i guess but you know it used to be in that category so i'm still gonna review it anyway and just give my thoughts on that um first games i have here is uh um silent hill homecoming for the xbox 360 and then i have uh dead space which is also for the xbox 360. um i got the case and everything in it um well i got this one used for 26.99 and I got this one for twenty twenty four ninety nine. So and then Resident Evil. Well, I don't have the case for it, so they didn't have the case, which pissed me off. So they gave me this. You know. I didn't want to take the the you know the GameStop case. I don't I don't like that one. So I decided this. He just gave me this one, even though I don't have the paper or everything in it. So I I usually like all my video games with the case. And that's why I usually buy the new ones. And also, I don't like used games because of, uh, you know, a lot of scratches or things like that. You know, I always have to look out to see that. Even though you can always bring it back. But I just like everything to just be new. You know, this fresh and everything just, you know, just comes out of the pack. That's how I like to do it. Um, all right, with Silent Hill, um, this one, well, yeah, I'm going to discuss I'm going to review this one first. Um, Silent Hill, um, this game, well, I, I like the game. I really like it. But then again... It's not enough horror in it. It's not really something that, you know, that, that scares me. It's nothing really... You no, know, when I first played the game, it was somewhat. But it wasn't really like, oh, you know, I jumped out of my seat. Or I was afraid to turn a corner. I was afraid to do this and that. This game is really... Um, I don't know. It's, it's, it's sort of like a horror game. But then again, it's like it lost that, you know, that feel into it. I'm not sure. I think it's because of that the original um, creators of the Silent Hill, it was... They, um, somebody else who created it instead. That's the reason why, you know, it doesn't really have much of that feel and how, you know, you get a lot of um, guns because the main character, you know, he was like from the army and, you know, stuff like that. Even though from the beginning you do um, only, you, you don't get the pistol right away um, until a little bit later. Not really that much later, but then again, you know, the old Resident, I mean, sorry, the old Silent Hills, um, you know, you always start out with, you know, you have your flashlight, then you have to find, you know, like a stick to use or a pipe or, you know, anything like that or an axe, which comes later on in the game. So, <clears throat> and the weapons in those Silent Hills before, it comes a little bit later, later on to the game. This one, you actually get it earlier. <clears throat> start again. This one, you actually get a little bit earlier. And then there's a lot of ammo around the game as well. 
And the thing that also pissed me off is that the difficult, the hard mode, because I've played on normal mode, the hard mode says that there's less ammo and everything is supposed to be much difficult. I played the hard mode and there was nothing different. The same ammo was everywhere and it was basically, you can still find enough ammo to beat every level, I mean beat every monster that you see in there. So, and then the monsters wasn't even that hard. It was basically like I was playing normal again <clears throat> and I didn't understand. I, I wouldn't even really understand if I was playing normal if I was playing hard, but I actually was playing hard because I got the achievement. But I don't understand why would you make a hard mode, which is basically the same as a normal mode, and then, you know, say that there would be less ammo and the bosses, uh, I mean, the monsters and the bosses would be tougher when it's basically the same thing. And I happen to have gotten all the achievements in this game because, um, well, you know, I never, don't really have much games to get right now, you know, money as well, you know, everything's you know, harder to get as well. You know, a lot of things not really affordable. Even though they are used, so I can easily pick up a twenty dollar game or something like that. But you know, I have to save my money because you know I go to school. So yeah. Um, but this game, um, I'll say that uh, I'll probably give it like a at least a, a four out of five because you know even though um it's not really that much it has that much horror feel to it, and it ha doesn't have that much horror feel doesn't have that same you know feeling as the old Silent Hill um video games that I have played on, on the PlayStation one and the two but it's just because you know it's a horror game that i mean a, 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 a traditional survival horror game that i have to play which you may that you never really see anymore you know in this generation so um I, that's why i give it a four out of five um also well i'm not sure if i even explained it really so let me actually get more in depth and explain it more um the main character well I don't remember the main character's name because I wasn't even really focused on the main character. This game was basically about um, this little kid that, I mean, your brother that you killed. Because I still haven't I don't understood the story until I beat it, like, after the fourth time. Because there's, like, many, there's multiple endings in this game. I think there's about four or five endings. And you have to get the multiple endings. You get the different achievements. And then you have a lot of different costumes. Like, I mean, the outfits that you lock for him. Um... And yeah, so that's why I had to beat over and over because I just wanted to get the other outfits. I wanted to get the achievements, and because I had nothing else to play, I was just bored, and I felt like playing a horror game. So yeah, I, I also like I came to you know realization that I think the story, I think is about that you know you your brother your little brother you killed him when he was out on a boat, and um, you know that this basically wasn't really him that was running around and he was trying to chase him to find him. And then Pyramid Head also makes an appearance in this game. Which, you know, I was happy to see him. The only thing I didn't like is that it's not like Silent Hill 2 where, you know, you have to actually fight him and he chases you around. You know, I like horror games like that when you have people to chase you around. Like High Resident Evil, you have, you know, Tyrant. And then, well, not really Tyrant because he never chased you around that much. But Resident Evil 3, when you had Nemesis. And, you know, when after that you heard his song play. And then you knew that he was coming. <laughs> so, you know, games like that are like, you know, those games to me it was more interesting when you always have somebody to chase you around in the video game some sort of monster. And this one, they didn't have anybody to chase you around. Um, but, yeah, so the story, um, yeah, basically it, it was about that. Then it was about everybody in Silent Hill, I mean, in your city, that was actually on the Order side. And the Order, well, I guess, was supposed to be some sort of religious cult that was wanting to purify Silent Hill. So the Order basically brainwashed um, all the all the people in, this, in your city to work with them. And then, later, and then basically you had to fight them in the end, and well, they killed your mother and your dad. Um, I'm probably giving out spoilers for this, so anyway, I'll put that in the you know the title just in case. Um, but yeah, the story to me, I didn't like it, and it really, I don't know, I just didn't have that that type of feeling to where it kind of bored me, and it wasn't you know something that I really like about the whole order, and you know brainwash people trying to purify Silent Hill, then you know you. Uh, people, your village, I mean, the town's members in your, you know, in your town was, you know, how you had to fight them, and I don't know, and also another thing I, I've noticed is that, I don't know, the game didn't really seem like it was really actually, you know, like, they really took enough time to, you know, go, like, in-depth into this game and to develop it. I did see a lot of, like, glitches, I got stuck somewhere before, I don't know how I did, I got stuck over there. It took me a while to actually get out of the glitch because I didn't save, so I was kind of pissed off that I didn't, I don't want to start, restart the game over to do this over. So I had to keep trying my best to keep rolling and rolling to try and get out this little corner that I was stuck in when I was in the sewers area with um the girl, um, Elaine, I think what the name was. Um, but you know, I don't, I didn't think they put enough work into this game. But 
overall it was still a very good game just because it's a as a survival horror game even though it wasn't really that scary but it, you know they've done their best so you know i give them that so i give it a four out of five um they just need to what i heard that is um well downpour which is Silent Hill 5 that's supposed to um, come out i think next year or the end of this year i'm not really sure i'll have to check on that to see but that game actually looks you know very good it actually looks like how i actually want this game to be <laughs> so um I'll definitely have to try that out and see what that's about. Then they have the one for the Wii, which I've looked up gameplay, and that one actually looks pretty good as well. So I'm going to have to probably check that one out whenever I get a Wii. Only have the CD in there. Um, Resident Evil 5, the story in this game is very good. <laughs> that's basically what I really loved about the game. The story is very good. The graphics as well, even though I don't really care about the graphics. Any, I don't really care about graphics in video games. That's more of something that um, you know, these more like these recent developers, they they mostly into the graphics, like you know, a lot of people really love graphics. But to me, that's not what the game is about. It's more about the gameplay, the you know, the story, you know, how everything is, you know, how everything was well planned out. I don't want anything that's a short a short game just for graphics, and you had to pay sixty dollars for it. I, you know, that's a waste of money. But I know a lot of people, you know, do that. Because of course the graphics, or you know, they gotta get this new game because the graphics are good. Even though they're wasting sixty dollars on a game that you can beat in one day or a few hours after you purchase it, so that to me, you know, is ridiculous and it really makes no sense to you know buy a game for sixty dollars if it's that short. I like games that are lengthy. That's why I mostly like <clears throat> RPG games, you know, role playing games such as Final Fantasy. Um, and I do a review on that some other time. But yeah, Resident Evil Five. The story in this game is very good. And another reason why I really love Final, I mean, <laughs> another reason why I really like Resident Evil is because, um, of course, they have Albert Resca, who was my favorite villain in, um, you know, Resident Evil, ever since Part One, when he first made his, you know, debut. So, ever since then, I've always been that was he was a fan of mine. I don't know why. I think it's probably because you know the sunglasses, you know, makes him look cool, you know, and you know I'm mostly the type of person I always like the video, I mean, the villains in video games, and you know anything like that, always the the bad guy. But, you know, like, him in the video, in this game was very good. Resident Evil 5, he was really good in this game. Like, I liked everything about him. I liked the battle scenes with him. I actually had to face him, and we had to fight Jill. And, you know, I liked everything about it. The storyline was very good. And when you get later on into the game, during those times when you meet him and fight him, and, you know, that's when the story gets more in-depth, and that's when, you know, you know that really, like, pulled me in. I, I was interested. They kept me interested, and I just played through the whole game. I played co-op, actually, with one of my friends on Xbox, so... I actually played through that um <clears throat> yeah the story game <clears throat> the story is very good so yeah, i think everyone would definitely like this game so i give it a, a five out of five just because you know the story and you know of course they they have the whole um timeline set out whenever you have the loading screen so they talk about all the resident evils from the past and everything like that they have everything in the timeline everything in order so you anybody who's probably new to you know the whole resident evil series you know the little loading screens and the timelines and telling you everything about the past games you know, that actually give them that much information about, you know, the old games from the back then, from the PS1 to the PS2, Dreamcast, anything like that. So, you know, that, I like how they thought that out. That's very interesting and very clever. Um, the thing that I didn't, did not like about the game is basically it's not a horror game anymore, which, I, you know, this is why I love Resident Evil for the traditional horror games that they always, you know, that they always made. Um, there's co-op. Which to me that's not a horror game, or that's not even scary because of course you have someone with you, so you're not gonna be afraid of anything. <laughs> so I didn't like that whole co-op. And well, the co-op it, it was good. I like that you know you had that you know had someone to help you out and you know complete the story together with a friend. That's you know that's I like that. But with horror games, to me, like it's more of a single player thing. Like for me, those type of games is like Left for Dead, those multiplayer stuff. Um, but Resident Evil Five to me, you know, I mean Resident Evil. In general, it should be a more of a traditional, you know, back to going back to the roots, the whole survival horror thing.